Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming back and if you are a new viewer, you are very much welcome to my channel. Please do well to hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you whenever a new video is uploaded. Anxiety is on the increase in our society today. People become anxious for a variety of reasons. For some persons, it might be due to personal life experiences. For some others, it might be due to societal and environmental situations. If anxiety has become a regular part of your life, then you need to find out effective strategic treatments to keep it in check. This might be a combination of talk therapy and meditation. You may also need to cut off your anxiety triggers and resolve your anxiety triggers. If you are having a hard time achieving this, then you need to see a mental health professional who would help you and provide you with options you probably hadn't thought about before. The first thing you need to do in dealing with anxiety is to identify and manage your triggers. There are a whole lot of triggers for anxiety. The most common triggers for anxiety are phobias such as agoraphobia and claustrophobia, withdrawal from certain medications, excessive alcohol intake, genetics, trauma, caffeine, and what have you. Now you need to identify what causes you to be anxious. If what causes you to be anxious is quite insurmountable, for instance, if it is a current work schedule, since it is a source of livelihood and your source of income, then you need to explore other alternatives in dealing with anxiety. The next thing you need to do is consider daily or routine meditation. Meditation has a calming effect on individuals. It also helps you to starve off anxiety symptoms. Henceforth, consider daily or routine meditation. The next thing you need to do is to adopt cognitive behavioral therapy. Cognitive behavioral therapy helps you to identify new ways to deal with anxiety causing situations. If you are having a hard time doing this, then you need to see a therapist to help you in preferring certain um, ways in identifying and combating negative thoughts. The next thing you need to do is to keep a journal. People find keeping a journal calming and relaxing. Get a journal where you write your daily experiences, your daily feelings and your daily emotions. The rationale behind keeping a journal is it helps you to write down and identify the causes of your anxiety on a daily basis. So henceforth, consider keeping a journal. The next thing you need to do is to socialize. Research has shown that being around people, friends and family goes a long way in relieving stress and consequently dealing with anxiety. The sixth point is you need to ask your doctor for advice on medications. If you've explored certain alternatives and they seem to be ineffective, they seem to be futile, try seeing a doctor to give you advice on certain medications you can fall back to in dealing with anxiety. There are so many drugs out there used in the treatment of anxiety. So if you've tried some alternatives and they seem not to be working, try to see your doctor. The next thing is to keep your mind and your body healthy. Daily exercise, a healthy and balanced diet, and also being around people that care about you goes a long way in helping you to deal with anxiety. Finally, try supplements or change your diet. 
Research has shown that certain food supplements help individuals in dealing with anxiety. Food supplements such as lemon balm, green tea, valerian roots, and omega-3 fatty acids have been researched to help individuals in dealing with anxiety. Note that for these supplements to be effective, then you need to use them for a couple of months. Always report back to your physician if side effects of any sort is noticed. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment and share. See you in my next YouTube video.